Hi, I'm Priyanka Vergaria, staff developer advocate at Google Cloud, and today I plan to share with you some tips to get into cloud without a degree. Let me start by saying that yes, it is a bonus if you already have a degree within computer science discipline, but it is not required. What is required though is commitment and motivation. As long as you have those, you can study and gain the experience you need to get into cloud. So, if you have the commitment and the motivation, what do you need to reach your cloud destination? In this video, I will lay out a four-step path for you to get into cloud and answer some common questions. First, understanding your cloud path. Which path do you want to take? A developer, architect, data engineer, machine learning engineer, a DevOps engineer, security or network engineer? I know. That itself is a lot. How do you choose? Even though you may not have a computer science degree, your current or your past experience might lie in, let's say, networking or security or systems administration. Those experiences are a great way to pick one of these paths. It can accelerate your journey into cloud. I got into cloud with SaaS services background. I know friends and colleagues who started off as security engineers because they had experience in security. If you have no background in any of these paths, that is fine. No worries at all. You can still get into cloud. The path I would recommend in that case is pursuing an associate level cloud architect knowledge. Why? Because it prepares you with a little bit of everything from infrastructure to networking to security to data and more which makes it a great foundational step. You can pick a specialization from there or stick to being an architect. Now comes the how. The second part, which is studying for a certification. Each of these paths have a corresponding certification. If exams scare you like they scare me, don't approach it as I'm studying to get certified. Just go through the prep with an intention of structured studying. You don't really have to get certified, but the structured studying for a certification will help you cover the concepts you need to know to be successful in the cloud role anyway. Whichever path you pick, you should definitely go through the fundamentals of Google Cloud, such as Google Cloud Skills Boost, Coursera, or Pluralsight courses. Each of these have their own learning paths defined on their certification pages, so go through and make a study plan. That brings me to third step, which is doing the hands-on labs. This is the part that's most important. You cannot skip this one. You need to see how things work, play with the tech, make a hello world. This is the part that is going to bring it all together between the theoretical concepts and the practical applications. Where can you find these labs though? There are quick labs and quick starts to get familiar with the concept. You can piece those together to build your own fun projects. Then comes the fourth point, which is building your cloud portfolio. Your certification proves that you have the knowledge, but to prove to an employer, you will need to show that you can put that knowledge to an effective use for a business purpose. And to prove that, focus on creating a cloud projects portfolio from your training journey or from your internship or passion projects. Now, you might ask, is getting a certification and doing hands-on labs really enough? Well, no. On its own, a cloud certification with some hands-on labs does not guarantee a job. You need to demonstrate hard skills. How do you compensate for the lack of experience? By working on hands-on projects. Pick a project that spans across some programming languages, networking, some basic Linux command knowledge, and deploy it in cloud. So, an example project could be something like building an API or a web application. It will require you to develop the code for your application. Then you would have to pick the infrastructure to deploy that application in the cloud. Pick storage, a database to interact with. In that process, you would basically end up learning how the internet works, the HTTP, TCP, SSL, networking, and more. You might ask, Will certs help me bypass the degree filters that recruiters set up? Yes, certs do help get you interviews. 
it can open doors. When a recruiter goes through your resume, having a search says that you're serious, especially if you're missing a traditional college degree in computer science. You might ask, what about those hiring managers? Will they really hire me on the basis of a cert or a training? Here's how I like to think about it. The cert can get you an interview and the hands-on hard experience will help you convert that interview into a job. And don't worry about getting too many certs. All you need is one or two certs to demonstrate that you're serious about this. Beyond that, experience really counts a lot more. Sometimes you might need to spend some time in an intermediate role like help desk, customer support, design. For example, I started off at a SaaS company as a quality assurance engineer. One of the most common questions I get is, what if I have a degree in something else that's not cloud? I would consider that a net positive. Find ways to leverage your non-tech skills to make you a more attractive candidate. For example, I have a colleague, Stephanie Wong, who broke into cloud with a communication studies degree, and she's made that a differentiator for herself in telling technical stories on this YouTube channel. Overall, don't let not having a CS degree stop you from exploring cloud as a career. There is a path to gaining knowledge and expertise and to find a job. We just covered it. Pick a path, prepare for a certification, do hands-on labs, and build your cloud portfolio. Now, it's your turn. Go ahead, use these steps, and make a plan for your cloud journey. And if you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We will be back with more advice on how you can crack your cloud career.